Hello everyone, here in this video I am going to develop a master detail report using subgroup. To achieve that I am going to use AR invoice report. First we have to create the data model with data set having them like let's say AR invoice and the query will fetch the AR invoice header and lines and tax related information. Now, in that case, let's say customer TRX ID is common between AR invoice header and AR invoice lines. So, that is basically the primary key foreign key relationship between the header and line. So, you have to identify that column and create the subgroup against that column. Then we will have to drag and drop the columns in the appropriate group let's say all header information will go into the header group and all line and tax related information will come to the line group basically let's say g2 then we will save the sample data we will save the data model we will create report and layout and then last we will test the report so let's take a look at the query so this is the query array customer trx all alias rcta will provide all the header related information like customer trx id trx number trx class trx date currency code payment term and all these sort of information whereas array customer trx line all will provide the line related information you can see here then the same table with different alias will provide the tax related information all right so this is the query and as i told customer trx id is the primary key in array customer trx all and foreign key in array customer trx lines all now let me move on to fusion reports and analytics click on this new Click on data model. Click on this plus icon. Select SQL query. Let me give it a name. Let's say AR invoice. Data source application DB underscore FSCM. Let me copy the query from here. And paste it. I can remove the comment. Click on OK. Now we will create the subgroup so select the column so customer trx id click on group by so this is the header group and this is the line group now we have to shift this header related information or header columns to the g1 group let me do that all right Rest all are for lines and tax related information. Let me go to data and let me click on view. We can see five records basically. Let me go to table view and you can see the header and the lines appearing here. Let me just select 200 rows, click on view and you can see the AR invoice header and the lines in parent child relationship or master detail relationship right here. Now let me save this data as sample data. This is prerequisite to create report. Let me save the data model now. Select shared folders, custom, and then I'm going to select financials. I'm going to save here XX. AR INV underscore master details subgroup DM. Copy this name. You would require it for report. Click on create report now. All right, the data model has come automatically. Select use report editor. Click on finish.
now we have to provide a name for this report i will remove this dm and make it report so that we can identify which report is referring to which dm from the naming convention itself click on generate give it a name let's say template this is a quick way to generate the rtf template all right save once more click on view report and it will take some time to load data because we didn't add any filter condition i would recommend you to add some filter condition and there you go so here is the ar header information and the lines information corresponding to that header and that's how we can see all the records so you can just format this as per your need you can just show this ar invoice header information in form layout and the lines and the tax information in a tabular or matrix format and that's all about creating master details report for ar invoice report using subgroup thank you